So finally, we're gonna talk about the Rel Seas combat. There's actually a lot that I did not talk about in the last Rel Seas video, and I wanna go into depth about that. But not just that, because I wanna talk about hockey versus devil fruits. Because the Rel brothers did say that hockey is the strongest source of combat, PvP, PvE. Is this the strongest thing in the game? And I'm not gonna lie, that's actually pretty cool because that's how it is in the anime. And so I wanna talk about the two. But before we get into the video, I'm gonna need you guys to do me a favor and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. If we get to 1,000 likes, I will give away three gold memberships for only one month in the Rel C's Discord. All right, let's get into the video. So for starters, when you guys watch the movie, you will see that they have a poster storage and max potential for the combat or for like your overall character stat points. In the poster storage, you can see that there's a bunch of different moves, parry god, auto parry, faster punch. So these are combat moves that you get, parry god, which mid combat parry drains 75, auto parry while blocking parry projectiles, build parry bar, block and click, and faster punch, speed and range of strong punch increase. Which by the way, since I would wanna go a speed build, that's something that I would really want. And yeah, I'm not gonna lie, probably even more than auto parry. I could be, I don't know. And they show some more moves. Flash dash, dash speed with directional control. Full stack, block breaking with strong punch becomes a full combo. Flash dash, dash speed with directional control. As you can see, all of these posters give a bunch of different moves that could really build your character differently. Not everybody's gonna have the same posters in their inventory and not everybody's gonna have the same posters even equipped, which will make characters very unique. And by by the way, if you guys haven't noticed, above the cards it will say like Agile, Tactic, and Fierce. So those are the three different cards that you could use, type of cards. And again, since I would go a speed build, I would have the proper agile stuff equipped. In his inventory, in his max potential, it says fierce, tactic, and agile. But I'm I'm wondering if you could use all agile posters or all fierce posters. I'm pretty sure you can. You don't have to have one fierce, one tactic, and one agile. I'm pretty sure you could have all agile or things of that nature. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. And some more moves, M1 God, instant TP up to, to opponent on final m1 which this is something that we actually see in the video this is actually really clean wall bouncer shoots off the walls by using jump dash god front dash and punch change to up tilt y'all let me know out of all of these moves so far which one sounds the best which one sounds like something you want to go and what type of build would you make wall bouncer shoot off walls by using jump jumper double jump range increase strong tilt down tilt to give full m1 combo without having to block break strong punch block break knockback added to strong punch uh parrying gun uh parrying gun whatever parry frame increases by two point two evade god and knockback damage opponent and rupture the ground stun. Sir Pitcher, Gepo Dash, rush after a grab throw. So this right here is the one that we also see in the video. This is actually the one that I was talking about when I was reacting that's similar to Holy War X. <laughs> Quick parry and lag reduce on parry by 0.5. Mr. Wide Step, uh, dash range increase, Alpha Clasher, win clashes with M1 combat, Ronaldo Trip, be able to dash and slide to trip opponents at a fast velocity. And here are the last ones. Uh, Gepo Master gives two more Gepo jumps and Jumper double, all right, so we've already seen these. Now I should say that on Twitter, they actually did confirm that not every Every single card for hockey at least but not every single combat card is in the video or a combat poster in general so what we see in this video is just a lot of them but not all of them now y'all are gonna be wondering how to even obtain these posters these skills well you learn these from the 40 crews in the game or the talent like the deck system by doing like for example the adventure decks boss drops, in-game events, dungeons, things of that nature. Now again, you can only have so much things equipped at a time, so everybody's build is gonna be different. I wanna know, let me know down in the comments below, what build do you wanna go? We're gonna have a bunch of different slots, so. But now, I wanna talk about Devil Fruits. We've seen a bunch of videos, a bunch of movies and dev vlogs showing Devil Fruits, showcasing Devil Fruits. Now we know that Devil Fruits will have passes like Logia Dashes, Logia Dodges. Some fruits will be able to fly. Some fruits probably and should be able to teleport Goro. Some fruits will give you different burn effects, stun effects, and things of that nature to give you that advantage in PvP. They just have overall more fruits. So when you play the game, you're definitely going to want fruits. And for those of you who don't know, the Rogue Brothers did confirm that some fruits will be more rare than others due to it being stronger and just better. Of course, don't feel bad. They did say that they want every fruit in the game to be good in some way or another. So even the worst fruit should be good. And of course, if you eat a devil fruit, you're going to lose your ability to swim. So that's a disadvantage, but one I'm willing to take for Goro. Devil fruits are obviously gonna be good for combat because it's gonna give you way more options in combat. But another thing that I like about devil fruits is that it should give you 
things to do outside of combat. For example, if you want to transport yourself across the island, something like Dragon, you can just fly across the island faster, you know, convenience. Or if you have Goro, which I think they should add because NL does do this in the anime. If you can't fly, make a teleport. You click somewhere on the map and it teleports you to that area. Boom, convenience. Long range teleportation. Teleport is something that we all obviously want to see and use once the game comes out. I'll be posting a lot of Devil Fruit showcases and stuff like that on this channel. Make sure you subscribe. But in terms of combat, I'm not going to lie. Hockey's got it though. Because one, even if you have a fruit that transforms or just Devil Fruits in general, there are moves with Hockey that quite literally cancels out your Devil Fruit abilities and literally can kick you out of your mode if you have a Devil Fruit mode, which I think is absolutely fire. I do know some of y'all don't like that, but I think it's actually so fire. I think it's perfect. And I'm pretty sure that they do that in the anime, don't they? No spoilers, but uh, latest chapter. That in itself, being able to cancel out other Devil Fruits, oh my goodness, that makes Hockey just so much more powerful. But of course, Hockey is a whole combat system in itself it has its passives i went over all the passives in my last video if y'all just want to go watch that but but some hockey abilities will allow you to infuse your conqueror's will into combat some will give you aoe hockey blasts some will increase your posture some will just increase your overall strength. It's just like the combat that we were talking about earlier in the video for Hockey, except it does way more. And obviously Hockey users could hit Devil Fruit Logia users. And according to what we see in the video, there's six, six posters that you could equip Hockey to. So there's a lot of slots, a lot of passive slots you could have there. Now on Twitter, Relson did send us something two hours ago, which I actually kind of figured anyways, but as y'all can see once again, Relson says, new D ton description was accidentally given the development description of D Stiff Maester. A late night mistake from tiredness and staying up. All posters currently in game were not shown off in movie 2. We want people to go into the game without knowing everything it will offer, obviously. Transparency from developers is what the anime community on the platform is missing and we have nothing to hide. Which as y'all can see, here are some more posters that we did not see in the movie. I'm pretty sure we didn't see this. Advanced Armament Ryu. Oh my goodness, Ryu confirmed y'all. And here are some other Conqueror Observation and Armament cards right here. Another one, indicator appears before the final M1 attack at the end of effects to utilize a skill. So hockey itself is such an in-depth, detailed system that you literally, quite literally, can just use by itself alone and win fights. We know that there's Conqueror's Hockeys that could make people go unconscious. Y'all, it's just, it's just insane. But let me know how y'all feel about it down in the comments below. I'm actually happy that Hockey is the most important, the strongest feature in the game. But yeah, that's all I have to say. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace out. I also do want to add that there is a stat point sheet over here that I did not mention in the video at all. Luck, Willpower, Defense, Health, Endurance, and Spiritual. And I'm pretty sure they said that this tab over here doesn't appear or anything until late game or something like that until you progress but yeah here's a stat system so everybody's builds will be different it will be unique and this makes more in-depth characters even more than everything I, I explained in this video but that's about it